Okay, I can't uh, get back to sleep. What time is it? It's five past eight in the morning. I've been awake since six. Um, I just can't get back to sleep. I feel like there's something that's on my chest that I need to get out. This camera's really fuzzy. Sorry, it's really poor quality. That's a bit better. Um, so, as we all know, two and a half months ago, I decided to go raw vegan, and I've been posting about it every, pretty much every single day, maybe twice, maybe even thrice a day, um, on social media. And I know that I've annoyed some people <laughs> with it. And uh, thank you to all my friends and all my family who have not only been really supportive, but uh, have also not deleted me. <laughs> I think that's so... That, that's just a real test of strength. Um, but I just... There's just a little update. Um, when I... I'd, I think it was like mid-December. So I've been raw vegan for about two weeks. Um, I ate a dodgy courgette. And that is the most vegan sentence I've ever said in my life. Um, but yeah, I, 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 ate, I ate a dodgy courgette and I, I was throwing up all night and I, I fainted for the first time in my life. Never done that before. I, bol I buggered my hand up while doing it because if I didn't land on my hand, I would have like whacked my head. It would have really hurt. Cups of water went fucking flying. It was mayhem. It was like three in the morning. Um, so yeah, and, and then... So I thought, what the hell was all that about? Um, so the next day, I ate courgette again, and I threw up again. It was really weird. So I was like, okay, so I'm not eating courgette. Um, and then I just continued to live my life, and it was great. And I was just having... Because, you know, like, courgette is just great for noodles. So I was using, like, sweet potatoes and carrots. It was fine. The other day, and I, I was back at my mum's, so it would have been... I'm going to say Thursday last week. Me and mum went to this really beautiful garden centre um, that is, is it's like an emporium. It, it's, like, it's got like a cafe, it's got an actual garden centre, it's got shops, kind of got like a little mini farmer's market in it as well. Just love it there. Um, makes it feel really middle class. <laughs> we went there and uh, we went, I, I only fancied an orange juice, but then I was like, actually I'm quite peckish and realised they had a raw vegan salad. It was, you know, and they, they, the assembly of it was beautiful. And had courgette on it and I just thought, okay, so... I might, that, that time before when I threw up, that might be because what I bought wasn't organic. I mean, this place where I was now, it, it, it only sells organic food. So I was like, okay, so it must have been, that courgette from last time must have been covered in pesticides, covered in toxins, this, that and the other. It was really bad. Let's eat this because this looks amazing. I ate it, felt great, as you do. That night, I was up, I woke up abruptly at half two in the morning every time something happens in my life at night I always wake up at half past two in the morning I don't understand why um but anyway yeah I woke up and then I'm not gonna go into too much detail but I was in the bathroom a lot and when I say a lot I mean literally all day literally literally from half past two in the morning until about nine o'clock at night I was in that bathroom just going in out in out in out constantly I was throwing up I was in the bathroom and I was like, okay, it's the courgette. But when I felt better the next day, what made me feel sick? And you know, like when you just think, oh my God, and you sort of gag a bit in your mouth. It wasn't, it wasn't the courgette. What it was, was in between, well, that evening, the day I had the courgette, I also made myself some raw cream spinach, which is basically like mixing up like, what is it, like cashews, tahini, nutritional yeast, water, and maybe some, like, I don't know, linseeds or something, I don't know. And, you know, it makes, like, a really nice cre um, cheese sauce. And I just put, like, a chocolate of spinach and kale in that as well. It makes a really nice dinner. That, when I was starting to feel better, was what made me feel sick. And I can't physically stomach that anymore. So what I'm scared of now is that <laughs> it's not just the courgette. <laughs> It's like I'm slowly starting to eliminate foods on my diet, therefore making it more restrictive than raw veganism should be. And it's starting to scare me a bit now because I'm, I can, I mean, I can eat 2,000 calories worth of fruit, and I do, for breakfast. It's so easy for me to eat fruit. I've got the biggest sweet tooth known to man. And obviously desserts because they're sweet and they're chocolatey and they're amazing. But it's the vegetables that I'm finding really, really hard. And, uh, you know, eat even just like, even when you make sauces, I mean sauces, everyone knows that sauces make crunchy leafy vegetables so much easier to eat. <coughs> oh God. 
they're making you know that's still really hard to eat um so what i've decided to do is be i'd say 70 percent raw 60 to 70 percent raw so eating as much raw as i can actually no not even just as much as i can i think i'm just going to start reducing the amount of raw food that i eat basically i'm just going to eat raw fruits still a hundred percent whole foods still a hundred percent plant-based so there's no processed foods you know there's no fucking cheese pizzas whatever but so it's still all whole foods but um sort of cooking the vegetables so having things like cooked sweet potato like baked sweet potato and you know not frying anything using no oil not even coconut oil no sod that it's way too fatty um because it means that i can eat things like chickpeas and and uh lentils you know and things like that and you know great sources of protein calcium this and the other that i wouldn't be able to get if i was raw um and I've been having a couple of cooked meals that Ashley has kindly, very kindly cooked me over the last couple of days. And it really has felt great. I mean, there was a small, admittedly, there was a small part of me that was still a little bit, just 1% of me that was a teeny bit scared of, the, of, of, of equating cooked food to uh, weight gain. And I know that's ridiculous. And, and I'm not saying for one minute that going raw was a reason the only reason I went raw was to lose weight. No, that was just an added bonus. The fact that I just lost a stone out of nowhere. <laughs> um, but there were, I mean, loads of people who know me know that I've, uh, you know, had weight issues for, for a lot, for a, a huge portion of my life. So there's, I think there's always going to be that sort of nagging sort of sensation in there. Um, but knowing that, I mean, when I had that first cooked meal, I think it was the day before yesterday, and I still was losing weight because uh, I was a social because I, I I started to make the connection in my mind that it's not the fact that it's hot um, and it's not the fact that it tastes good it's the fact that I'm not eating oils and I'm not eating f like bad fats basically you know and I'm not eating sugar you know it is literally just whole foods and plant based and it made me feel a lot lot better it put my mind at rest it really did um, but the reason I've felt like making this video is because I feel like I, if I if I I mean, I know there's no reason for me to put absolutely everything I do in my life online, but, you know, I'd feel a bit of a liar if I said that I was 100% raw and then somebody caught me with cooked asparagus and they were like, uh, what, what what's that? <laughs> Why does that look burnt? <laughs> I just dehydrated it for seven hours. Go away. <laughs> I need to stop talking to myself and having imaginary conversations and videos. But, yeah, so there's... Um, I just felt like giving you a bit of an update this this video has gone on long enough now <laughs> um hopefully i'll get back to sleep now but um yeah still happy still not on antidepressants anymore still meditating yogaing exercising loving eating <laughs> okay right uh sorry i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna go back to sleep <laughs> okay guys good morning good morning